welcome back to Yubi Studio. I'm Yubi in my studio at SCAD and this is my last week to prepare for my thesis show next week because next week will be most of the days just hanging and um, curating and really recreating that space that is allowed for me for the thesis show. I have decided to dedicate a bit more this week to be in the studio like I'm I left my house a little earlier than usual and I'm working a little bit longer in this studio before I head out I'm I don't know I think I'm nervous but I'm more excited and I'm kind of ready to kind of target and <laughs> aim because it was a show it's my first solo show that I've been waiting for a really long time and in terms of dedication I do want to point out that dedicating to something or the the fact that I am able to dedicate for something that I love the fact that I can dedicate my time my effort and my I don't know focus to art to art that I love I think it's a very golden opportunity and a great blessing that I don't want to miss and this week is never going to come back where I'm just um, struggling and pushing and pulling with between my works and I wanted to start out this vlog that dedication is in you and is in me and I'm glad I decided to take that and I'm Waking up a little early, I am leaving my home a little early to spend a little longer time in the studio so I can get a little bit more done towards the goals of what I wanted to finish by this week. Welcome to my vlog again and let's enjoy this exciting and chaotic last week of my thesis show <laughs> preparation. I believe dedication means love and I think it's different from sacrifice. Sacrifice is about more of forgetting the process or neglecting what's going to happen for the result or for the one that you love. But dedication actually really makes me think about the process and think about what I am giving up It's actually worth it because I love this so much and I'm willing to give up all that and all those thoughts is actually in the process. Meaning, I think dedication is beyond sacrifice. I think dedication is almost like a synergy that when I actually decide to give up my time, give up my sleep, it's actually more accumulating the time and effort and the sleep to the thing that I love and at the end of the day I don't feel like I lost those I feel like they come back to me and they have granted me smile a growth and a deeper sense of creative qualities and dedication that's what it is I signify the difference between sacrifice and dedication because when I think I'm going to sacrifice, there is usually more than I gain than I lose. But in dedication, ultimately, I grow, I become larger in heart and creativity, and also I feel fulfilled and flourishing with love and enjoyment. It's already Wednesday and I kind of felt like just uh, run away. <laughs> sometimes. Do you feel that sometimes? Yeah. And that's usually because I am spending too many times with this art or maybe this certain canvas. Probably these two that I'm working on right now. But usually when i want to run away i usually let it go and give a little healthy distance between my studio and myself so i 
am restored and charged and when I come back I don't feel like running away again it's very wise to know what the healthy distance is and what I'm feeling and it's good to give that distance but when it's a time where I can't really give distance when I can't run away away from the studio I find a different way how to make a distance in this studio and it's either I film myself like this so I can talk it out <laughs> or a second I um, usually have friends coming over and I talk about their work my work and that kind of releases as well or I go into my MacBook and maybe write about some things check on emails something that just presses the different switch so I could run away from the work a little bit like physically if I don't do that or if you don't do that you probably know where it goes It you're just uh, cranky I'm just like not happy at the day and end of the day after I push too much at the end of the day all I have is not accomplishment not proud of myself but it's more of voidness it's more of dreadfulness so because this time frame is so important for me before I really hang on my works for my thesis show I am trying to be wise about myself and the distance between my works so I decided to turn on the camera too and talk about it so this is another distance that I have towards the works even if I, if I can't leave the studio and it works so think about that distance because we need that for the things that we actually dearly love the, the more you love something the more I am passionate about something I really try to purposefully have distance between that subject matter so I can be healthy and that subject could be healthy too that makes sense So my three works that I have been really working on has been finished. I don't have a tripod gimbal right now so I might be a little wobbly but I really wanted to show you before I take these to my dear frame shop. So this is uh, actually this first. Yes, I finished this piece and it was one of my commission piece for Miss Lilibet. It's her beautiful Chinese dress she had more than 30 plus years. And I don't know, I think it's very oceanic than I thought. And because of that, I actually um, got some beautiful <laughs> beluga whales. Actually, they're not all beluga whales, but some of, the, some of them are. Majority of them are beluga whales. And it kind of represents her uh, world or her universe. And the beluga whales are kind of gathering her around and it's an unconscious land that nobody knows but her but I kind of felt it because I spent quite a lot of time with her and I think that's what I really wanted to express and second untitled but this is a landscape abstract textured work and it's just full of um, dried flowers and paint and texture and it I think I'm going to name it as when the Apraxis, Apraxis is birth or is born because it does symbolize the birth like this. Something's bursting out of the darkness and becoming light. And this is really fun to really work on. I actually never had much um, stress working on this one. I think it was really fun. The third one it was kind of this. This one was like the outbirth of these two as you see there's paint that kind of 
duplicates. And I love creating outbursts like this, like second outcome from the original one, because it's just unexpected. And look at that texture. It was just leftover dried flowers. I just crumbled it everywhere and I pasted Mod Podge all over the surface and just scattered it. And that's what it remains. Many people have asked me what the beluga really symbolizes. And it's not just a whale, but it's beluga whale I try to incorporate in specific version. Beluga whale is the most favorite mammal that I adore. And it's because whenever I visited aquariums here in Atlanta and also in Korea, I was actually accompanied by the people that I love, my friends, my families, and the close ones. And the quality time that I spent with them, seeing the beluga whales, and they always have a seating at the aquarium where you can actually sit and watch belugas forever. And that's what really impacted me, the quality time of watching belugas together. But beyond that, beluga whales that I've seen, that I've actually experienced, they're so innocent and they're so childlike. They're grabbing their toys in the water and splashing their body to the glass to kind of show off the audience that freedom and that innocent childishness is what I really want to resemble and just how they look <laughs> the circular body forms and the white beautiful skin is something that I want to resemble and that's maybe something that's already in me as an inner child So I went to my frame provider, <laughs> I'll say frame provider, but she's kind of like my supporter for all my vintage frames or my goods um, to create my artwork, especially vintage frames. And I went over today because I was collecting some new fabric to hang up on the ceilings or I'm planning to hang like create drapes at the ceilings of the venue for my thesis show and I have an idea in my head but I just feel like that space is so large that I don't know if I had a lot of um, fabric fabric to hang so I SOS messaged her I was like oh, I'm looking for this fabric like to can I borrow your fabric because I have no space in my apartment to buy a lot of fabrics so I went over I'm going to show my fabrics today but I got I borrowed some fabrics but I also got some new frames one of the frames was 8 by 10 and I was like oh one of the 8 by 10 is sitting right in my studio and look at this frame this is a frame that I got and this is the work that I had this was leftover work from my art festival and this was the only one that did not have frame but this is actually one of my favorite works because it has resin on it and this was one of my first mixed media works and I was like I want this frame and I came back to studio with the frame and just slide it in I'm probably going to attach it somehow or secure it somehow and it looks amazing and this was one of the first frames I ever got from her and she painted this whole herself and this is the second one from the two set that I got and I just love oval I love it's vintage it's old and she painted over it like her time and effort and her artistry is already on top of it so I'm probably gonna finish this in a few days hopefully <laughs> and this is the other frame so this is it was a really weird size this was like 11 and 20 something and I'm right now I'm doing 
I did I just finished a the landscape work that you just saw and I would love to do a, like a small landscape like this and look at the color it's kind of yellower on the screen but it's actually more gold vintage gold ultimately dedication is in every one of us it's kind of dormant in some of you not because you don't have dedication or you don't have passion but it's because you haven't found that right subject or right place to really pour your dedication out. And it takes a lot, of, a lot of exploration, a lot of courage, and also failures, recognizing that this is not the one that you should actually go walk upon. So don't worry, I believe it's in you as it was in me. I haven't filmed for a while because uh, just some busy days, but I wanted to uh, just catch up of what I have been going through. So in two days, I will be installing my everything at the venue called the Bakery Atlanta. So there are so many things to do and so many things to buy to prepare for this show, and I can tell I'm giving my everything to the show <laughs> but i'm really trying to take good rest um get good food on time um and get a lot of sleep i slept until like 12 today and i wanted to show you what i did today i printed my main exhibition title and the the description in korean and english i realized we had amazing printers located at scad in the new building for way cheap prices than other commercial printing places here in Atlanta and I was doing that and thank you the guy who helped me <laughs> I think his name was Omkosh oh, oh, Monokosh um, who helped me at the printing lab to get all that through so this is what my studio is looking right now just all works so these works right now these are, I actually jigsawed them myself and fitted to a frame that I have. And I have wood glue there, so it's going to stick that. Look how beautiful that is. It's going to be on that frame. And tomorrow when this dries, I'm probably going to put wood putty in it. I hope I have enough wood putty. Okay, I think I do right here. Okay. And those two are the same, and I'm going to jigsaw that tomorrow. I think Hoya is going to do that. And that was finished at the edge. I needed some painting on top. I did that. And this was finished too. I needed some details down over here. So that's what I did. I think this was like two days ago already. And look how beautiful that frame is. And I attached that small piece. And this is the exhibition title. And... The description in English. This frame was bought in through a Facebook market again <laughs> and I just printed off this this matte paper is just gorgeous like it almost feels like velvet and that's kind of what I wanted to do and this is a Korean version um, this was another green vintage frame that I got from the same lady who gave all my frames over here you know that one. Oh, I don't think it's that one. She gave me that one. I think she gave me the blue one too. Her just her house is just full of um, treasure, and I translated that in Korean, but it says the same thing. I'm probably gonna hang these on the front wall when people walk in, so they could read about it. Hopefully, everything will all come together, and I just want to give my best and everything. To the public who wants to come and see my work and my world like that's what i feel these days i why am i doing this so hard why am i so passionate about it why am i so excited about about it it's because i want to give my best and i want to give my everything to the people who want to knock on my door and to see my artworks because i want to connect with them so i'm gonna go home earlier today and get some works done and get a good sleep and hopefully um It'll get to the end. It'll get to the end and I will know that I made a good fruit. I'm going to go early and take some break and be excited for tomorrow so I can 
get some more work done today and make my inner children of my work flourish and be born. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thanks for tuning in and I wish you best for finding your dedication to the one that you love, to your art, and to your life, and to yourself. See you in my next vlog. Bye.